What is going on, everybody? Super Yankee for Life here once again, and you're going to be watching a 52-7 and kill confirm match on the map Raid. It's been a real while since I posted uh, a Raid gameplay on this on this channel, but um, yeah, as you see here, there, there is a, just a, a nasty-ass lag spike in this little sequence here, and how I didn't die is, a, is just a miracle, but... Um, uh, I know I said uh, yesterday that um, I was going to do a WrestleMania predictions video, but thinking of, thinking about, you know, WrestleMania 29 as a whole and what I expect from it, I, I just decided that it, it's not really worth doing a, a video on it if only two matches are worth watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... Outside of maybe you know you know Brock Lesnar Triple H in the No Holds Bar match and the obviously the, the the match in the night being Undertaker versus CM Punk, there's really nothing else on the card that really um, stands out to me as like oh I, oh my God I have to watch this you know for a, a possible face turn or a heel turn or a, or something like that. But there's and, and we would have had that with you know say, Rock versus Cena, with Cena, Cena t possibly turning heel, but um, the problem is is that he will not turn heel, because supposedly in an interview he said that um, he, he's not turning heel because of his charity work, which, I mean, a part of me respects that, but a part of me wishes that, uh, a part of me wishes that um, WWE could possibly make make it work for both on both ends, you know, have him turn heel but still be the face of the company as far as him doing charity work. But it looks like that won't happen and there goes my interest in the Rock versus Cena two at WrestleMania. So I could give two shits about who wins that match. Um likely Cena will win and he'll back get back to being the status quo and what and that stupid shit, but um, but yeah, I, it just didn't seem right to, to do a, a, a predictions video based off of two matches. Um, you know, obviously Cena, uh, not Cena versus Rock, but uh, Taker versus Punk, that's going to be the match of the night. I really want CM Punk to win, because I think that if there's anyone that, he, uh, that WWE wants to end the streak with, it's CM Punk, but... Um, it it would be really cool to see Taker go out un, undefeated. I think this could be his very last WrestleMania because there's really no one else on the roster that can really work well with the Undertaker other than CM Punk. So, um, you know, whoever wins that match, I I would have no problem with CM Punk winning the match. I would have no problem with Taker winning the match at all. So, um yeah, there's that. There's also the the the, the shield and their six man tag. That's supposedly going to have a heel turn involving Big Show, Sheamus, or Randy Orton. It's likely going to be Orton because uh, they're they're not going to turn Sheamus back to heel. Uh, not not Sheamus back to heel, but or Big Show because he they just turned in face. Um, they kind of built that up a little bit, but uh, I would like to see them you know built it up a little more. But um, Sheamus is kind of like the baby face. Right now, along with uh, Ryback uh, and Del Rio, so I don't see Sheamus turning heel. And plus, Orton has expressed desires in recent interviews to turn heel again. So um, there's likely going to be a heel turn involving those three. And it's likely going to be Orton. And I, I think Orton works well as, better as a as a heel, in my opinion. But anyway. Um, uh, the Shield definitely work well together. Uh, eventually, way down the road, I expect to see Roman Reigns being the weak link, and if we are, I think he already is the weak link in the in the group. I expect him to be kicked from from the Shield, or you know, kicked out or uh, brutally attacked by you know Ambrose and Rollins. Um, but anyway, anyway, just that's just my basic thoughts on WrestleMania, and you know, uh, what I think are the the you know the, the matches of the night, but anyway, let's just let's, let's get right into the gameplay here a little bit. This is a 52 and seven, like I said before, with the MSMC, and um, supposedly there was a 
a patch a month ago nerfing these two weapons, the PDW and the MSMC, as far as their recoil and their uh, hip fire spread. Yeah, doesn't seem like there was much much done on these two weapons. Um, these two mo these two guns are still monsters. Um, in my opinion, they're a lot better unsilenced than they are silenced. Um, obviously, for a couple reasons. One, as far as you know, recoil. The other one is range. Um, if you put long barrel, it really increases that uh, um, that three hit kill, four hit kill radius to to get your kill. Um, I ran low on ammo on the MSMC, so I picked up this dude's uh, MP7 with I think laser sight and silencer. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's it's amazing to me how much how much they try to nerf these SMGs, but they they just don't seem to really work. <laughs> They really don't seem to work at all, and uh, um, guy throws. I didn't. I don't know what the hell he just threw. Maybe a shock charge. Maybe it, it didn't detonate or something. But all right. So I call on my lightning strike. So I figured, okay, it's gonna get me a couple of kills, which it it got me one. But watch this. Watch this hellstorm. It lands right next to this guy and doesn't even get a single hit marker. I mean, I like the hellstorm a lot, but it's just sometimes it's it's a little inconsistent. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. I would like it for it to be like the he like, like the Predator missile from IW games. Um, and I get dropped here, and I luckily get my lightning strike and hellstorm. Uh, I've since put on dexterity a lot uh, on my SMG classes, and I don't know how I get a kill there. I just lucky hit fire. I've started putting dexterity a lot on my classes now, um, just because you know it, I'm on the move a lot and. This time the Hellstorm works with works for me. I get a nice three piece only because I think I activated the cluster bombs, which I mean it's probably the only way to to use the Hellstorm. And I steal this dude's tag um, on accident, of course. Um, definitely, if I were to recommend um, how to use SMGs nowadays in Black Ops 2, I would definitely go with them unsilenced. Um, you, you can run you can run some SMGs on silence, but you 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 will really have to um, choose your engagements carefully. You know, you, good luck trying to you know long shot somebody with a, a silenced PDW. Just good luck with that. And again, nice three piece with the Hellstorm. You know, and then watch this death right here. Watch this death coming up right here. I shoot this guy, and then nothing happens. Nothing happens. Maybe it was my fault, but I, I feel like I should have gotten the kill there. And, uh, I don't know what that... Maybe he's... <laughs> dude slipped and fell or something. <laughs> that was funny. But anyway, 100 to 47. We handled this team pretty easily. Final score for me is 52 and 7 with 30 confirms and 3 denies. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Until next time, Super Yankee for life. Signing off. Peace.